It's fairly common in the Linux community to see people graduate from Manjaro to Arch, but it's much less common to see people go the other way. But I've done exactly that. I've gone ahead and switched from Arch to Manjaro, and I'm going to be talking about why, right now, on the Linux Lounge. So from that intro, you might be wondering why someone would switch from Arch to Manjaro. After all, Manjaro doesn't really do anything that Arch doesn't. But trust me, I do have several good reasons. First of which is that Manjaro is really easy to deploy. If I want to install Arch on something, I have to go through quite a long Arch install process and install everything that I want manually. If I want to install Manjaro, I only have to go through a quick graphical installer and everything is pretty much already there. Obviously, Manjaro is a lot less flexible than Arch for that reason, but these days I tend to like things that are simple and easy to get going quickly. So I do quite like Manjaro for that reason. Another reason I switched to Manjaro is that generally I find it to be a bit more stable. Now obviously if you're looking for stability you'd be better off using something that's not rolling release like Debian. But with that said neither Arch nor Manjaro are particularly unstable. But I do still think that Manjaro holding back update gives a slight edge in stability over Arch. And as I said earlier earlier, these days I do tend to like things that just work, but I also still want the power of rolling release and Arch Linux with that, so therefore Manjaro is quite a good fit for me. It's also worth pointing out that I prefer Manjaro's update model more generally, but I know that a lot of people also prefer how Arch does things. Another thing that I quite like about Manjaro which caused me to switch is how good it is across different devices. As a lot of you probably already know, I use a Pinebook Pro as my main laptop, and I think without a doubt the best distribution for it is Manjaro ARM. And from what I've heard, Manjaro is quite good across other ARM devices devices too, such as the Pinephone. Personally, I'm a fan of ARM devices, and I like to use the same operating system across different devices, so that's another reason why I switched to Majaro, especially since I plan to migrate to ARM more in the future. Now, of course, I do know that Arch does have an ARM build, but in my experience, it's nowhere near as easy to get set up with, so I would just rather use the ARM build of Majaro on my ARM devices. The next reason I have for switching to Manjaro is only a small one, but it does make a difference to me. Manjaro actually has more packages in its official repositories than Arch does. For instance, I use the Vivaldi web browser, and on Manjaro I can actually get it from the official repositories as opposed to the AUR. The same is also true of Signal. Generally speaking, if I can help it, I would rather use the official package repositories than the AUR, but that is, of course, a matter of personal preference. Additionally, I think that Manjaro is one of the few distributions, if not the only distribution, that packages Vivaldi for ARM devices in its own official repositories. So that makes it the obvious choice for my Pinebook Pro, and since I want to run the same distribution across different devices, that also makes it the obvious choice for my desktop. Finally, the last reason I have for switching to Manjaro is the Manjaro exclusive utilities. Now personally, I don't use very many of them, but having the Manjaro GUI package manager on hand is pretty handy, and Manjaro does also make it insanely easy to manage kernels with its official kernel utility, which lets you easily have multiple kernels installed and manage them however you want. Although, personally, I don't use these tools very often, they are really useful to have, and I would certainly rather have them than not have them. But with all that said, that's it for today's video. What do you think of my reasons for switching to Manjaro? Do you agree that Manjaro is the best choice for my use case? Would you also switch to Manjaro? Let me know in the comment section below. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I will see you in the next one, and I thank you for watching.